Hello learner, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Today we have an outdoor lesson on an air pollution detector. Remember in our previous lesson, we looked at ways on how to reduce air pollution. Now, in our pairs, can you remind ourselves what did we say from you, Victoria? What did we say? Some of the ways of reducing air, air pollution. Correct. That is correct. That we sprinkle water on dusty places before we sweep them. And you, Tom, what did we say? What should we do? That is correct. To sprinkle ash to the pit latrines so that we can reduce the smell, the false smell from the latrines. Those are some of the ways on how we reduce air pollution. Now, in our today, we are making a simple air pollution detector. And I requested you, you come with the following materials. We said we come with a clean white piece of cloth. As you can see, I have my clean white one. It is not used. Clean one, very clean. Even if it's used, it should be clean. That was one material that we needed. A stick. I have my stick with me. I have a stick with me. Then we said we come with strings, a string, I have string with me. And then we also say we come with petroleum jelly, petroleum jelly. So do you have all this? Correct. Now I will, we will first listen to the steps before we start making that simple air pollution detector. And the steps are as follows. On your piece of paper. On the piece of cloth, the white one, tie the cloth on a stick. Tie this piece of cl cloth on a stick. Then after you tie, lightly apply the petroleum jelly. After you apply the petroleum jelly to the field, stick your stick there. Just push it down to the ground so that it can stand at that corner of the, far of the field. Then observe and record your observation after one day or the following day come observe what has happened and that is what we shall start doing so we have said in the first step we take our piece of cloth and then tie it on the piece of stick so we'll tie we'll tie assist me in tying kindly Assist me to tie it. For this experiment, make sure you are doing in groups kindly. Do not do alone. Make sure all members of your group assist you to tie the piece of cloth. Make sure you tie. Make a good knot so that it may hang properly. Then after you tie the piece of, you tie, make sure now you tie or you, you tighten your piece of cloth on the stick as the teacher is doing. Tighten it, tighten it kindly and then you also do the same to the lower side, tighten it. I can see you are doing great work after you tighten it now it looks like this you can see now apply lightly your jelly so we take our jelly our petroleum jelly apply it slightly not much but slightly on the both sides of your piece of cloth so apply slightly do not apply much. And then after you apply now, now you can take it to one side of the of the field and stick it there. Just push the stick on the ground and tomorrow come and take your observation. So we have this one now. Can we go to the field and stick it there? 
have said when you go to the field the corner side just push your stick to the ground push your stick to the ground like that and now leave it there remember we are making what air pollution detector it looks like a flag but it is there it will take the, the air pollution so leave it there come tomorrow or the next day check the for observation and record them so tomorrow well in the morning we'll come and check what has happened to our air pollution detector class as you can see our air pollution detector has trapped some dusty particles that is to me it has detected air pollution and in our case it was dusty particles so our air pollution detector has worked as we have dissipated it to work so kindly when you go home you can also make the same sample of air detector a functional one detect when we have air pollution in your compound and that marks the end of our lesson remember to do this when you make one it traps dust take a photo print and attach them to our portfolio for our future reference have a wonderful time